I watched, uh, there was this uh, sex therapist on HBO. And this is when I was younger. And she was like, uh, she would, it was really, it was really a, a fucking hot uh, v- video. I, I wonder what, I wonder what this video is now. This guy couldn't, he had premature ejaculation problems. Yeah. So she, I mean, it really was a brilliant ruse by this guy. She got naked with him and then tried to teach him how to laugh, but he kept coming fast. And it was, he was like, oh, there I go again. They're totally naked. She's like a, a sexual therapist and she's trying to get him through this, but he kept coming. And then she was like, I need you to like play with yourself before you come in here. And he was like, I, I've never done that. She was like, okay, well, you can use any lubricant. She's like, olive oil, mayonnaise. And I, I remember hearing mayonnaise and then cut to one night. I'm fucking need to jack off and I don't have Dude. anything. And there's mayonnaise. Dude, it really quick turns into like an oil. Like, Dude, if but anyone's ever jacked of off, it, though. Like it you smells can't... like you're eating a turkey sandwich. <laughs> I get, I dude, I couldn't eat mayonnaise for a while because it reminded me that one time I jacked off with it. What? I can't believe I'm ta- fucking. Did telling your dick this story. smell like a fast food restaurant? Dude, like it smells month? like a fast food. It smells like a fucking sandwich. Like it smells just any jack off with mayonnaise. Trust me, everybody. What I feel like sometimes I say things, and people are like, "What the fuck?" Yeah, that, um, that one, that's, yeah. I, I've jacked I'm off with just gonna, about everything. I've jacked off with Ben Gay before when I was a kid. I'm trying, I don't, I mean, I think I've just done the normal stuff, you know, like tears and I'm joking. Uh, <laughs> tears? No, I don't, that's crazy. Ben Gay, dude. Like, oh, yeah, well, it was an accident. It was yeah. not, it did not turn out the way I wanted it to. <sighs> I, uh, I was, I was in high school and I had pulled my groin. And so I was putting Bengay on my groin, and then I was like, "Wee, hey, hey." Yeah, yeah. And then I was like, a "Little, ooh, like, like, almost like, ooh, a little bit on my balls." Whoa, whoa, whoa. And then I was like, "All right, let's let's light this up." And then next, thing you know, it is on fucking fire. Yeah, that's not good. Fucking fire, and I'm like, "Oh, I'm like, do I go tell my parents? Like, what the fuck? Am I going to die? Like, it was bad. Jacking off of Bengay is one of the worst feelings I've ever had. I, don't, I mean, I don't think any. I don't have any stories like that. I don't. I just. <laughs> yeah. I just use lotion. Jacked off of steam, where you go. <gasps> to your hand I'm joking now, now oh just, I was yeah. <laughs> I was like dude you're losing me here on joking this off with a whisper with a secret <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't like clowns <laughs> you know she didn't mean that here we go <laughs> I uh I used to have a joke about I don't like clowns I don't like clowns and I don't like balloons I think clowns should be forced to whisper their secrets into balloons so that when they pop, the clown's secret comes out. I was molested by a clown. <laughs> uh, and then Nate Bargatze's dad's a clown, so I can't really say that. That's yeah. His, his, his dad's good though. His dad's a magician. His dad's a, his dad's a magician, clown. but he started as a yeah, clown. Yeah, started as a clown. His well, dad's a fucking killer magician. It, I saw him was, live at Zany's. Yeah, yeah. His dad. I think his dad opened. Have you ever put him. a dildo in your ass? No. 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 Yo. So I'll tell you this story. Uh, fucking my girlfriend, she'd wanted to do anal for a while and we tried and it just never worked. I mean, it just, yeah, I don't, and she said she's done it before. I'm just so confused. We're trying, we can't do it. And so we got, have like, use like our dildo. Her dildo is like a, like a pink dildo, like a, like seven, eight inches maybe. And, um, and tiny, tiny. <laughs> it's like super small dildo. No, it's, it's like about the size of my dick. Um, and so I'm like lubing her, like I'm lubing and it's just not working. And I'm get, like, I'm getting annoyed because we're like, this is like 30 minutes, dude. And she, I'm like, quit being a little bitch. Like, you know, and she's like, I'm going to shove it up your ass then. Like, she like begged me for like, 20 minutes and I was like no and then she's like this time we tried I was like okay I'm just gonna clinch my butt she's gonna try to do it it's not gonna go in right dude she lines it up one two three didn't even lube it and shove the <laughs> I looked back all I saw literally was two A's in the triple A battery it my ass swallowed it and then she's looking at me because a couple weeks before one of her friends told her I was a gay she's like I promise she's gonna turn out gay and I'm like I'm not I'm not gay and then now I'm like I'm not I'm still not gay I just have a big butthole you know and then I get I just nervous have a big butthole. and it fucking sucks it out of her hand like it, like, it literally like suck like suction and she's then, like it's going it's going and did you watch the, like Infinity Wars when fucking Thanos like grabbed the gauntlet yeah, yeah. back inside of Spider Man and just yanked it and then she just her fucking face is just like gone and I'm like, I'm like hey because then it starts to come out yeah. and I was talking with Mateo about Mateo Lane you know Mateo yeah, I was yeah, talking yeah. to him I said it starts to come out he goes oh yeah I feel like you're gonna shit and it's so the physical and then I'm, like, I'm like hey get the fuck out of this room she's like no this is like let me see it let me see I'm like no get the fuck out of here I may shit on this entire bed right Ew. now and then it just came out and it felt unbelievable. <laughs> it felt so good. Like, and then like, so I, like I finished off and then no, <laughs> but she literally, she, her face to like this day, like I just have like, and then Trey has a joke about it that he's like, we have huge, like rednecks have huge like buttholes. And I'm like, I guess so, man. Cause like I did, it, I did not feel it. 
Like it, it wasn't even like it was like like she can't even get a tip in. I like it was like as a fucking day at the park, like a little, like a little breeze. Like you ever get You're a, a pool? Big guy. You got a big ass. Yeah, dude, I have the biggest asshole. Like like I, <laughs> one of my friends is like calls me a one upper, and he's like a gay dude. He's like even you can you can even take bigger dicks than gay dudes. I'm like, well, I mean, if we're gonna start measuring them out, probably so. I mean. You, that, you, this, is your, this is my impression of your first night in prison. You guys are going to be surprised at this. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, this is going to surprise the majority. Of Look, you. I'm probably going to beat most of y'all's ass, but like, <laughs> if it goes the other way, you're not going to be mad. <laughs> I love the guys. Every, I used to ask guys, uh, if you're in prison and you, you had to have anal sex or oral sex with a guy, what would you pick? And I, mm. love, I love the guys that go, oh, I'd fight. And I go, okay, after you get beaten up and they are holding yeah, you down, which yeah. one are you picking after that? Because there's no way you're going to fucking fight off 10 guys that want to fuck your ma- mouth. Yeah, that's, yeah. I always thought about that because I was always like, I'd always think I'd choose oral. And- how did you never get, a, how did you never go to prison? Bro, I never, so I've, I had, I've almost had it happen. I was at a party one time, cop comes there, puts us, uh, puts everybody to the side. Then one of the dudes, uh, cop walks by, he's getting everybody's name. One of the dudes fucking hits the cop, knocks the fucking cops out. Everybody takes off running. Uh, I was at one, I, I was at Tuscaloosa one time. It was statue. I don't, I'm, I was somewhere one time and <laughs> <laughs> I don't know the fucking statue of limitations on things. So I'm like, I was somewhere and my buddy had $1,400, had it in an envelope, put it in the car. Okay. Okay, we come back out of the car, we can't find it, and he left the door open. He's like, fucking somebody stole it. And it was his dad's money that he had because his dad shot his uh, his mom and they were in prison. So he got the money out of the bank for the, I think, jail collector or whatever. So he has the money we can't find. So we go back in the bar, we get drunk, I pay for the drinks, we come back out. I find the money in between my seat. So we're fucking wasted at this point. We just found the money. We're fucking lit. Pop some beers in the car. We're driving. My buddy has like an old fucking Subaru or whatever. And uh, a Jeep, brand new Jeep pulls up beside us. And he's like, you want to race it? I'm like, yeah. Yeah, of course we're definitely gonna do this so we fucking rev up and the jeep's like looking over like like <laughs> it's like it's like it's like a like usain bolt at like a fucking special olympic race like what yeah. are you even doing like you know so we fucking line up we take off as we're taking this turn literally a cop comes by flicks on its lights and then i like sober a little bit because i'm like this is my life right now like i and this was when i li- i think i just did comedy central yeah. and i was like i'm fucking dead dude i'm dead and then he literally takes a turn tries to turn this place for the cop turns around slams into an embankment car turns off beer from the front of the uh, back of the car flies up cooler hits the windshield cracks the windshield beer falls everywhere cold water all on us and my, like my, like we're just sitting there and the car rolls back the cheap drives by and goes fucking pussies and then, <laughs> and then we're, we're freaking out i look at him I'm like hey that's my buddy Lewis. I'm like, hey man, I'm I'm gonna have to run. I can't I can't do this. He said, no, I got it, I got it, I got it. Literally, car turns on, fucking w- front lights are all bashed up. He takes a right, pulls into a like a parking deck. We yeah. wait like 20 minutes, and then I'm sitting there and I'm like, we just fucking how in the fuck did we just get away with this yeah so we back out we drive we get to a stoplight we're like two stoplights before like the the side road we can get home, and uh, we at the stoplight pulling up is the fucking black jeep and right behind it is the fucking cop car and then and we have no lights by the way at this point and we're just sitting there and i'm just like uh, you know there's nothing we can do and they, they pull off and we're right behind them and then we take a left they take a right and then but then lewis is a fucking idiot because then that night we also go mud riding in that same car and we get stuck in the fucking mud all night he tears up his transmission and we sleep in fucking 30 degree weather but yeah, that was one time I should have went to jail. I got in a fight in Nashville one time. I, put, I shoved the dude out of an Uber. Yeah, I mean, I should have been in jail a bunch of times. I just, I always like, once, like, I, I can sober up quick. So it's just like, once the cops start getting, like, involved, I can be like, you know, we're ducking down with this. <laughs> <laughs>